Curious George Goes Swimming by Margaret and H. A. Ray, read by me. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today the man with the yellow hat was taking George to the town pool. George's friend found some empty chairs for them to put their things down. I'll go find you a float, George, the man said. Now be a good little monkey. George sat on the chair and looked around. He saw little kids tossing a beach ball in the shallow end and big kids lined up at the diving board. George couldn't wait to get in the water. Then he saw a tall white chair with an umbrella and a red float hanging on it. The woman in the chair wasn't using it. Maybe George could borrow that one. Like only a monkey could, George swung up to the top of the chair and grabbed the float. But when he was about to climb down, the woman in the chair turned around. Hey, you can't take that. That's the lifeguard float. She did not sound happy. George let go of the float, jumped back down to the ground, and started running. <whistles> then he heard a whistle and a loud voice call. No running by the pool. George slid to a stop. He walked very slowly back to his own chair. The man was there waiting for him. You have to be careful at the pool, George, the man said. The ground gets wet and slippery and you could fall. George nodded. Then the man handed George a small foam board. I got you a kickboard. You hold on to it in the water to help you float. Why don't you go for a swim? George thought that was a great idea. He took the kickboard and got into the pool. The water was cool and refreshing. Everywhere George looked, the kids were having fun. Some were doing swim races across the pool. Some were playing water tag. Others were doing handstands in the water. Then George noticed one little girl holding onto the side of the pool. George waved for her to come swim, but she would not let go of the edge. George wanted to show her how much fun swimming was. He kicked his legs, he paddled his arms, he hopped up on top of the kickboard like he was surfing. Surfing would be even more fun if there were waves to ride. George was curious. Could he make waves with his kickboard? He pushed the board through the water and made a small wave. What fun! George did it again, pushing a little harder. That made a bigger wave. George heard the little girl giggle. She was still holding on, but at least now she was smiling. George pushed the board out into the water as hard as he could and made a wave so big that, oh no, it splashed over the side of the pool. <whistles> he heard the loud whistle again. No splashing! Oops! George hadn't meant to break another pool rule. He swam over to the side and sat down. Then he saw the little girl pulling herself over to him along the side of the pool. Hi, I'm Lucy, she said. I know you didn't mean to splash. It was just an accident. You're really a good swimmer. George smiled. I wish I were a good swimmer like you. My dad has been teaching me. He says I can do it, but I'm scared to let go. I don't like to put my head under water. George was curious. How could he show Lucy how fun a day in the pool could be? Then George had an idea. Ice cream was a special pool day treat. The man had put some money for a treat in their bag. He pointed to the snack bar and then hurried over very carefully. In a few minutes, he was back with two ice cream pops, one for him and one for Lucy. Thank you, George, she smiled and climbed out of the water. They sat down on the side of the pool to eat their treats. Just as George was taking his first lick, the loud whistle blew again. <whistles> no food by the pool, the lifeguard yelled. George was startled. He dropped his ice cream into the pool. Oh no, it was sinking to the bottom. He had to get it before it made a huge mess. George jumped right in after it. 
He swam down to the bottom of the pool, but where was his ice cream? When he came back up for a breath, he saw Lucy under the water, and she was getting his ice cream. In a moment, the lifeguard was there, ready to rescue, but then Lucy popped back up. She handed George's ice cream pop, or what was left of it, and wiped her hair from her face. The lifeguard was about to scold them when Lucy broke into a huge smile. I did it, George. I swam underwater, and it was all thanks to you. This made the lifeguard smile, too. She wrapped him in dry towels and helped him clean up the mess. It was a great day at the pool. George had a new friend and a new ice cream. The End